Okay, I think it's staying. All oh. right, assuming the iPhone doesn't fall down in iPhone the middle probs. of this. <laughs> 2012. I'm T-Rap from 103GBF. This is my inaugural video blog for the website. Joining me tonight is Melissa Awesome from Inaugural? KSL. Yeah. You said that weird. Inaugural. It's I don't know. inaugural. How, whatever. Okay. Inaugural. I, I mispronounced it, but whatever. The reason she's joining me tonight because the subject of this video blog is that we are melding two worlds of radio. We got rock with Nickelback and pop to become one. <laughs> with Avril Lavigne. <laughs> Apparently, Chad Kroger, of course, getting engaged to Avril Lavigne. Did you hear about the rock he put on her finger? I saw a picture. 14 carats. She's going to be able to knock someone out, although she won't because she's a pansy. I think he's making up for something, though, with the size of it. Like, Oh. Yeah. Her. But what happened, apparently they were um, recording an album together. He wrote a few songs. They did a duet. That, I decided that was a good idea. Yeah. Let's say two of the most mediocre musicians possible. Right. And put them in a recording studio. But apparently <laughs> apparently their love of maple syrup and hockey and all things Canadian, uh, Canadian. came together. Uh, and um, yeah, now they're engaged. And uh, this is like Canada's trailer park at it, its finest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Do they even have trailer parks in Canada? They're probably, I don't know. I mean, I'm I would, sure they do. They, eh, they're I probably too hoity toity for that. At least they'll probably be friendly trailer parks. Like, you won't get crap thrown at your car if mullets. you drive through. I don't I wonder know. wonder if there's any mullets in Canada. I don't know. But of course, Avril Lavigne, before <laughs> she is in this engagement with Chad Kroger, before she was married to the lead singer of uh, Sum 41, um, Derek Wibley, if I said that correctly. Weebly. Weebly. Wally, something. Whatever. But apparently. In the divorce proceedings, in the paper, if you look it up on mm -hmm. Smoking Guns website, his last name is Levine. It was Wibley Levine. So he took her last name. I think that's weird. That is like okay. Different. I have nothing wrong with like I, I understand like some girls want to keep their last name, and that's totally cool. Right. But I think it's weird when the guy takes on the last name, unless he were to have like for instance, one time I had this lady come into a store I used to work at, and she was like, "Oh, my name is." I'm not gonna say her first name. I don't want to call her out, but she was like. Insert name here, butts. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> you want to get rid of that. Now that I would have been like, you're taking my name. Right, <laughs> like, right. Or they could have dash last name, Seymour Butts, which just Seymour. would have been, been unfortunate. Her name would have been like, like I would be like, Melissa, awesome butts. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, some 41, you don't hear anything from them very much. And, and I blame Avril Lavigne for that. Kind of like, you know, it's like... A lesser of the Courtney Love, Kurt Cobain kind of thing. Except for Kurt Cobain, I'm not trying to compare him to Chad Kroger. Don't get that. But no. Chad, I mean, what the heck am I going with this? Hello, Courtney Love. <laughs> she, like what came first, the heroine or the Courtney? <laughs> the I great would say, creation story. You know, it's kind of like the chicken or the egg. Right. Because... In order to get Courtney Love, you would have to be on heroin. Right. <laughs> and, like, I may not be the biggest fan of Nickelback. I mean, I know a lot of people like Nickelback. I Respect for you. I mean, I liked them. Maybe the first album kind of sort of sounded the same. The Silver Side Up. I, I just kind of lost track after a while. Yeah. But, you know, but now, yeah, like, she could totally Yoko that. Ono this thing. She like, should. she broke up some 41, according to me. She could do the she same thing. To Nickelback. Did they ever officially go on hiatus or anything? They, they probably, just kind of quit making music. Kind of like Blink-182. What the heck, guys? Yeah. Well, that they, was good music. I will be honest. I love me some Sum 41, some Blink-182. The they Hell did Song, it. Fat Lamp. Well, Blink-182 did a reunion tour. That was a bunch of infighting in that band. But that's neither here nor there. It's about... That was it's, not... It's about this is about Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne and, uh, and Chad Kroger. Um... Avril if you're a Nickelback fan, watch out. You you could be seeing a Yoko Ono going on with your band. I would I would be afraid. But then again, at the same time, I don't know like what this will do for Avril Lavigne's career either. Uh, like, we know that we know a duet's coming, and I know we're gonna have to play it, and I know I'm gonna have to sound enthusiastic about introing it, and um, <laughs> just oh, no, just gosh. just know it, how happy my voice may sound on the radio. There would be this <laughs> behind behind the mic, so. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. So, Sandman, I'm booting this song out. Can't do that Sandman, we can't play it. this. But uh, he, so you know, Sandman might even be like, I understand. <laughs> Boot it out. So, what do you think about the Avril Lavigne, Chad Kroger connection? What do you think about this? What do you think it's going to happen to Nickelback? Do you think he's going to go solo? Or I wonder maybe... if this will be good for her. This might. Okay, this may even go the opposite. I were. Did we intro me? Did we say who I 
Yes, I introed you. Okay, I work for Kiss. I point this way because my studio is right there. But anyways, um, this might be a good thing for her career. Because if I were to compare apples to apples, somebody was like, Melissa, do you want to listen to Avril Lavigne or Nickelback? I'd be like, uh, Nickelback, please. I'd be like, hand me a and bottle of a whiskey fan. and Nickelback. And <laughs> bottle, <laughs> like, we'll figure this Usually out. Usually I enjoy it when I'm out of bar drinking, but you but know. But you never know. Maybe this could be good for her tunes. I mean, I'm not going to lie. When I was like 12, I totally had her album, Let Go, I think was the name of it. You know why you gotta make things so complicated? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was like, so many issues Chad with that Kroger's song. a skater boy. Oh, oh, she didn't say see you later. Oh, he, boy. he, that nose. I mean, just not an attractive male. Tell us what you think. Leave a comment below, and uh, maybe I'll hit you back up. Yeah.